So I've been a bad YouTuber. I've been a bad, bad YouTuber and a bad content creator, but let's just address the elephant in the room first because I feel like if we don't, you guys probably aren't gonna actually pay attention to anything I'm saying. So yes, my hair is very curly today and I have mentioned in one video in the past that I do have naturally curly hair. I have been growing it out for about two years now. I typically have always kept it very, very short and I'd been waiting to let it just do its natural curly thing until it got long enough not to look weird. And I think we're at that point now. However, honestly, you guys, I'm about ready to just chop it all off again. But back to me being a bad YouTuber. So I have had an epic week of fails, like an epic, epic week of fails. And some of them have been planty fails. Some of them have been filming and editing fails. Some of them have been more house planty fails. And it's just been a lot. And honestly, you guys, I really should have picked up my camera and filmed a lot of it for you, but I didn't. Like I said, I've been a bad, bad content creator but I really do feel like you would benefit from knowing some of what happened and how I dealt with it. So let's rewind back to Monday, November 28th. It started out as a normal day, minus the fact that I was definitely stressed about getting two YouTube videos out that week since I had taken time off the previous week for the Thanksgiving holiday. But I was still feeling pretty good about the fact that at least I had gotten one video recorded the day before. Still, it was gonna be a pretty tight turnaround to get both videos out on time this week. And unfortunately, I'd also gotten a little bit off schedule in terms of checking on and watering all of my plants while my family was here. So I decided to go ahead and just take care of that before I started any kind of work for the day. And it was while I was doing that that I actually made the first discovery. What the? You've gotta be kidding me. That's right, pests. And not just any pest, spider mites. I now realized I was going to have to spray down every single plant and clean the inside and outside of the entire cabinet. You've got to be kidding me. And this only two days after I had released the video I did on spider mites in which I told you that they typically don't go after succulent plants because they have such thick leaves. Yet here they were all over my string of bananas propagation. So of course I immediately grabbed the plant and started to head for my bathroom since that's where I spray all of my plants down when they have pests. But I was stopped in my tracks by the realization things were a whole lot worse than I thought. Oh shit. Let me take you back a little bit further to the previous Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So as per the usual with me, I had spent all day Wednesday frantically cleaning my house, even though it wasn't that dirty to begin with, so that it would be perfectly spotless for when my family came. And as part of that process, I had actually moved this plant from where it had been living into the IKEA cabinet. But prior to that, it had been living behind my couch directly beneath the mama string of bananas plant. So I immediately grabbed my magnifying glass and ran to check the string of bananas that was still hanging behind the couch to see if it also had spider mites. Yep, spider mites. It was at this point that I realized my task had just gotten way bigger because now I was going to have to treat every single plant living behind the couch, clean everything behind the couch, clean the couch. I mean, if I'm being honest, I probably should have stripped the curtains down and cleaned the curtains. I seriously don't have time for this. So I grabbed the string of bananas and took it into the bathroom with the other string of bananas and went to start mixing up my pest spray. However, as I was getting my spray bottle out of the kitchen cabinet, I just happened to glance at all of the propagations sitting above the sink. And that's when the next realization hit me. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Also, as part of my sprucing up the day before Thanksgiving, I had given the string of bananas a haircut and I had propagated those cuttings in water and put them on the ledge above the kitchen sink which meant I now also needed to spray down every single plant living around or above the kitchen sink and clean the entire countertops, window, everything around the kitchen sink. So it was at this point that I actually initially had the thought of, I should probably be filming this, but I was so strapped for time as it was, it was going to take hours to do all of the spray down and the cleaning that needed to be done. And if I was gonna be setting up and resetting up and filming and resetting up and all of that, it was just gonna add on so much extra time. And it was time that really honestly I couldn't afford. So I made the decision just to proceed forward with getting done what needed to be done. So I mixed up my pest spray and I decided to start with the Ikea cabinet first. So once I had finished spraying down every single plant in that cabinet and cleaning every single square inch of surface area, both inside and outside of that cabinet, I moved on to dealing with the plants behind the couch. Naturally, I started with the far left window and shelf since that's where the string of bananas had been hanging. I took all the plants into the bathroom, gave them a thorough spray down, and while they were drying, I went to town cleaning. I cleaned the windows. I vacuumed the couch. I wiped the shelf down. Like I said, everything but the curtains. I felt like I was making progress, but there was still a lot to do and I hadn't even gotten into the kitchen yet. So I set my sights on starting work on the second shelf behind the couch and then work called, literally. 
And from there, my day unraveled quickly. First it was a work call, then it was a work meeting, then it was another work meeting, then it was another work meeting, then another call, then another meeting, and I really didn't even need to be in half of these meetings. Then I realized it was 2.30 and I hadn't even done any work editing the video for Wednesday. So I immediately jumped on that and next thing I knew, it was time for me to go work out. And by the time I got back, took a shower, made dinner, ate dinner, took care of Toby, it was already after eight o'clock. Completely exhausted and beat down, I made the decision to pick back up with the spraying and cleaning process first thing the next morning. Now, just to be clear, I do not condone doing what I did here. Ideally, you would want to treat and spray and clean everything in the same day. You wouldn't want to spread it out over multiple days. You would want to take care of it as soon as possible. But as I keep telling you, I was stressed, I was strapped for time, and it came back to bite me in the ass because all I could think about when I was going to bed was the fact that I still needed to clean and treat all of those other plants, and I ended up having nightmares about spider mites. So annoying. So I woke up early Tuesday morning and got to work immediately on the second shelf behind the couch. So I took all the plants into the bathroom and gave them their spray down and then immediately went to work on cleaning the shelf and all around the shelf. I then told myself I was gonna do some brief editing on Wednesday's video while the plants were still drying before I tackled the third shelf. But then, work happened. Again. Once again, things got away from me and the next thing I knew, it was 8.30 at night and I still hadn't tackled the third shelf or the kitchen. Exhausted from lack of sleep the night before and the stress of the day and feeling like a complete and total failure, I went to bed and promised I would take care of everything else that was left first thing in the morning. But there was only one problem. I still hadn't finished everything I needed to do for the video that was being released the next morning. So the good news is at least this time I did not have nightmares about spider mites. I got a relatively good night's sleep, probably because I was just so freaking exhausted from dealing with everything. So Wednesday morning I woke up and before I ever even ate breakfast or had a cup of coffee, I immediately went to work wrapping up the video that was supposed to be being released at nine o'clock that morning. And by some miracle, I made it happen. Feeling a sense of relief that at least that video was done and released, I tackled the third shelf in the living room. And the entire time I was doing this, I couldn't help but wonder, how the heck did the spider mites get over there in the first place? And then as I was leaving the bathroom, I watched Toby walk underneath the Tenanthe Luberciana again. And I started to wonder, if perhaps the spider mites had made a return on that plant. So of course I went and grabbed my magnifying glass again, and lo and behold, the spider mites were back. It was at this point that I broke down in tears on the floor. I found myself questioning, had I ever actually successfully defeated spider mites on any single plant? Then I realized that in fact, I actually have successfully defeated spider mites on at least two plants. One, my Calathea ornata. Two, my Alocasia maharani. Upon this realization, I stopped crying, pulled myself together, and carried on but Toby and I were going to have to have a serious conversation about him constantly walking underneath that plant. I don't need him being a bus for spider mites. Now you may be thinking that as soon as I finish spraying these plants down and cleaning around that shelf, I'm gonna tackle the kitchen next. One problem. Here it was Wednesday, late morning, and I still hadn't recorded the video that is supposed to be released that Saturday. And honestly, I hadn't even finished fully planning it out, but I had to film it and I had to film it now. So I got to work. Was it my best piece of filming? Probably not but at least I had filmed the base part of the video. That's right, base part of the video. Because unfortunately, this video required quite a bit of B-roll, but that was gonna have to wait for Thursday. At this point, I thought I was ready to tackle taking on spraying down all the plants in the kitchen and thoroughly cleaning all of the surfaces in the kitchen. And then I saw a drooping plant and I realized I was behind on checking everybody for watering. So I ended up spending the next two and a half hours just taking care of plants and making sure that everybody was getting watered that needed to get watered. And by the time I was done with that, wouldn't you know it, Time to go work out. Once I got back from working out, I had to make dinner, eat dinner, take care of Toby, and once again, it was after 8 p.m. I was exhausted, and so I put the kitchen off for yet another day. Once again, many epic fails. I woke up Thursday morning knowing that this was going to be a very busy, very stressful, very difficult day, because not only did I have to tackle what I had now been putting off for three days in the kitchen, but I also had to go purchase items to film the B-roll for the Saturday video, I had to film all the b-roll for the Saturday video, I had to start editing that video, make the thumbnail, do all of the video related things. But first, the kitchen. And honestly, I think the process of spraying down all these plants and cleaning this entire area took longer than anything else involved in this whole spider mite treatment process. But as I was putting the final plants back on the ledge above the windowsill, I felt a great sense of accomplishment and relief, which was short-lived because I was now so far behind on the video for Saturday, I was starting to feel panicked. I went to work editing 
filming the main part of the video first, and as soon as I was done with that, I ran out to pick up the items that I needed to film for the B-roll. But of course, I wasn't able to find one of the main things that I needed. Coming back home slightly defeated, but with at least one thing that I needed, I rushed to jump on yet another series of work meetings that honestly, I didn't need to be on. Knowing I wasn't going to be able to get much more accomplished that day, I decided to try to relax and unwind a little bit before going to bed, knowing I was going to have to hustle my ass off on Friday to finish filming everything and edit everything. But if I had known just what Friday had in store for me, I probably would have just kept editing Thursday night. So I woke up Friday morning determined to get everything done that I needed to get done. So I got to work filming all of the B-roll that I could with what I already had on hand, knowing full well and good that I was still gonna have to make a trip out to buy the one last thing I was missing. So after wrapping up filming what B-roll I could, I headed out to my local plant store in search of the final piece of the puzzle. And that was a plant, because I needed a plant that could be divided to show you guys how it's done in the video. So I arrived at the plant store knowing that what I was looking for was either a Calathea that was large enough to be divided or an Aglionema that was large enough to be divided. I went in search of a Calathea first, but unfortunately, no luck. All of them were way too small to warrant dividing, but there were plenty of Aglionema large enough to divide. So now just to find one, that wasn't too expensive. And lo and behold, there was a beautiful, excessively root-bound aglionema with four separate plants in it. Perfect for dividing. So I did a very quick pest check on the plant, checked out and headed back home because by this point it was already two o'clock. I was supposed to be going to a workout class at 4.30 and I wanted to get everything for this video completely filmed, edited and exporting before that time. And of course I was still stressed out and rushing so much that I didn't even realize I had already made a fatal mistake. So clearly guys, I was off my game at this point in the week and I was not paying attention to things. I wasn't thinking clearly because if I had been thinking clearly, I would have remembered what everybody has been telling me about every single aglionema that they have purchased in recent history, but I didn't. So here's what happened. As soon as I got home, I went to work setting up everything I needed to in order to film dividing the plant and hit the record button. But as I tried to make my very first cut through the middle of the plant, my knife was meeting resistance and I couldn't quite figure out why it wasn't going through. I even tried using a different knife, but still the same problem. So you guys might've noticed when I was dividing that plant and I'm telling you make clean cuts as few as possible, Surely some of you were thinking, why the heck did she make four cuts to quarter this plant versus just making two cuts, one down the middle, one down the middle the other way. Thank you guys if you did notice for not commenting about it in that video. But the reason I made four cuts instead of two was because once again, for the umpteenth time in the week, I had made yet another unexpected discovery. Oh, of course it has pages. Are you kidding me? Make my life miserable. Why did they do this shit? I know this, like, this is not what I would have bought. So I managed to still successfully film dividing the plant for you guys, even though it was not 100% in the method that I would have done. Like I said before, I would have cut once and twice and been done with it but obviously I couldn't because of the plastic being in the way and stopping the knife. But I persevered and I did my best to film and show you dividing a plant. And I also did my best to not show you the plastic cages in the process. But the whole time I was filming that, I was cussing up a storm. I was pissed. My friend who's still staying with me right now was in the dining room eating lunch. And she was like, well, what the heck is going on? And once I finally finished filming dividing that plant, she had finished eating lunch and I showed her the cages and she was shocked. She'd never heard about that or seen that or anything like that. Yeah, but it's more than Yeah, and they all have cages and like, it, and I was trying, my whole point was I'm telling them in the video, make one clean cut through, don't like hack at it. But I couldn't make one clean th cut through because it kept hitting the freaking plastic. But thankfully she is still living here with me because she helped to film what happened next. So now that I had finished recording the video, I needed to deal with getting these horrible cages off of this poor plant. I started by taking each plant outside and trying to hose off as much of the dirt as possible so I could more easily get to the actual cage to remove it. But having to do this to four plants was an extra time consuming task in my day that I had not anticipated. My friend and I then began the tedious process of removing the cages from each of the four plants, after which I was still going to need to repot up each of these plants separately into their own pots. And by this point, it was already 3.30. Now, just to be clear, once again, this is not at all what I would normally do in this situation. So once again, I was just filming this plant to show how to divide a plant for that video for you guys. If I had actually purchased this plant and I had discovered that it had the plastic cages, what I actually would have done first before trying to wash soil off or anything, because it was so root bound, I would have actually tried to very gently 
unwrap a lot of those roots to get that soil uncovered from those roots so that I would have an easier time washing the soil off. I then would have taken it outside, done exactly what we did with the hose, spray as much of that soil off as possible so that you can get to the cages, so that you can see the cages clearly, and then start working at getting those cages cut off. And honestly, you guys, they don't come off easily. We had to cut off section by section, cut through the bottom, cut through the top, cut through the slits to get this off without damaging more roots than we were already probably gonna damage because we did damage a few obviously. And also if you were wanting to divide this plant, even if it was just a plant you had just bought, but you wanted to divide it for some reason, I still would do what I just described first, get the cages off. And honestly, once you've done that, because the roots are kind of restricted from growing into the middle portion of the pot because of those cages, once you've gotten those cages off, you might be able just to pull those plants apart without having to cut anything. But if there is rootage that is kind of tangled up in the middle there, once again, just make one clean cut, then another clean cut, and you're done. I'm also realizing I didn't mention something in that video because I think I just thought in my brain that was common sense. So let me just make sure everybody is aware. When you are dividing a plant, you are gonna have potentially roots that get completely severed. There were a lot in the case of this plant by the time I was done with it because of having to get those cages off and everything. So you wanna make sure any root segments that aren't still attached to the plant in some form or fashion are removed before you repot that plant back up because you don't want them sitting in there and rotting. But let's get back to what else happened that day. So naturally, I finished potting up all the plants into their own six inch pot with barely enough time to change clothes and head out to my workout class. So much for trying to get the video completely edited before then, but after returning home and taking a quick shower, I decided to sit down and just finish up the editing process before I even ate dinner. But I knew I wasn't gonna be able to accomplish anything else today on this video because now I had to wait for the long process of exporting fall by the long process of uploading to YouTube, which meant waking up extra early Saturday morning to wrap things up. And as I hit the save button less than a minute before the video was set to go live, I felt a huge sense of relief that this stressful week of epic fails was finally coming to an end. So even though it was a week of epic fails, I did actually have one epic win, at least in my opinion. So after more than a dozen times of applying to the Amazon Influencer Program and getting denied, on a whim, I decided this week to try and apply one more time and this time I got accepted. So I do now have my own Amazon storefront set up and I have put a link to that in the description below for you. And this is great for you guys because this allows me to put all of my favorite planty products in one place for you guys. Instead of having to create individual links for everything in various video descriptions, you can now just go to this one storefront and you can shop for everything that I use. Or recommend. There are some products in there that are not ones that I personally use, but I know from many people out there, they are excellent products. So I've included those for you guys as well as alternatives to the ones that I personally am using at this point in time, because I think we all kind of change up what we use as we go through our plant journey. But I will constantly update that storefront with anything that I recommend or that I am using. And just full transparency here, you guys, I do get a small, tiny little kickback from anything that you purchase via my Amazon storefront, but that is at no additional cost to you. So I was pretty excited to be able to set that up for you guys, and I definitely needed at least one win this past week. And tomorrow starts the next week, so fingers crossed, it is just a week of epic wins to make up for this last week of epic fails. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this little reenactment vlog as it were. If so, please be sure to click that like and or subscribe button down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Aloha. No, Toby. Stay out of the tree, buddy. Stay out of the tree. No. Hey, you go there. No, you're not going under the tree. No. Okay. You can't be in here if you're gonna be misbehaving. <laughs>